a road building site like any other, or almost. One of the workers is wearing a strange device, an exoskeleton. It's the first of its kind for building and civil engineering. This model was specially designed for raking asphalt. This is hard work. One person has to spread up to 30 tons per day. Alors, on peut imaginer un peu l'exosquelette comme une direction assistée. C'est vraiment la personne qui se trouve à l'intérieur qui doit faire le mouvement, mais le robot est là pour apporter la puissance et les les formes nécessaires pour porter la charge. This isn't a very attractive job, but it could become more so with the aid of this external device. Boosting muscle power is a boon in this industry. Alors la problématique euh, dans nos métiers de la construction, c'est de garder l'humain au milieu de l'activité puisque le travail manuel pour nous est incontournable et indispensable et donc il nous fallait trouver une technologie qui garde l'homme au milieu de l'activité. This is the principle of cobotics, building machines that do things for us without completely replacing humans. This model was developed in cooperation with a French startup, the Atomic Energy Commission and the defense industry. It was originally intended for use by the military. The workers are enthusiastic about the exoskeleton, as are insurance companies. It's a good thing to be able to find another system, because when we're on the road, later, we have always the tendency to suffer in the dos. When we see the movement that is made by the exoskeleton, we think that it could be adapted to others, and so we're probably there face to the emergence of a new technology that could be multiplied in many fields. This exoskeleton is still in its testing phase. Man and machine still have to learn how to work together, but the final product could be seen on construction sites within 18 months.